The two women leading Mexico's presidential race clashed on issues including corruption, gender violence and health care in a heated debate marked at times by personal attacks. Frontrunner Claudia Sheinbaum of the ruling left-wing party and her main rival Zocaitl Galvez, both 61, traded accusations and retorts of lies during the first of three face-to-face -face meetings before the June 2nd elections. Galvez, an outspoken businesswoman and opposition senator, described Sheinbaum as cold and heartless, saying she lacked sympathy for child cancer patients and earthquake victims. Claudia Sheinbaum offers you to continue hugging criminals, Galvez said, a reference to President Andrés Manuel López Obrador's hugs not bullets strategy to tackle violent crime at its roots. Nearly 450,000 people have been murdered across Mexico in a spiral of drug-related violence since 2006. My offer to you is that we build a Mexico where we put an end to violence, but above all that we focus on health and education, Galvez said. The outgoing left-wing populist enjoys an approval rating of nearly 70% but is required by the constitution to leave office after one term. Galvez, who was born to an indigenous Otomi father and mixed-race mother, said Mexico would have its first woman president, but not just any woman, it will be a Mexican woman with indigenous roots. But she faces a tough battle to win the election. According to an average of polls compiled by the firm Miraculous, Sheinbaum has 59% of voter support, while Galvez is in second place with 35%. Jorge Alvarez Mains of the Citizen Movement Party, who also took part in the debate, is a distant third with 6%. There aren't only two visions of the country, the 38-year-old politician insisted. The thorny issues of insecurity and foreign policy were largely left for the remaining debates.